Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Excel 2016 and I'm going to show you how to enter in date and time functions onto Excel as well as how to freeze your panes. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I see here is I have a Microsoft Excel sheet open and so first thing I want to show you is in the formulas tab in the date and time button right here in the function library is uh, this red book and it says date and time and this adds in time functions. The one that I want to show you real quick is the now function. It's very easy to use and basically it returns the current date and time formatted as a date and time onto your spreadsheet. So uh, right here I click on now and then I click OK and it's automatically going to put that date and time onto your spreadsheet. So if you wanted to edit this and edit the way that it looks you could always right click and go to format cells and choose the date and time format that you like. So that's just a quick way to enter in the date and time onto your spreadsheet. That way whenever anything gets edited it'll be updated automatically. So what I want to show you now is how to freeze your panes. So I see that I have a title right here with a date as well as my current date and time. And then I have a table below it. This table's pretty long. Notice that as I scroll down on the table I lose sight of what the actual heading names are. So this could be a major problem because sometimes you just want to be able to see these heading names as you scroll down. So what I I could do here is I could basically freeze my panes so that I could always see this top section on my page. The way that I do that is I click on row 6. Okay, Now row 6 is important here uh, because it is the row that everything above it I want to keep. So on your spreadsheet, whatever you want to keep, if you choose a row right here, it'll keep everything above it. All right. So now I go to the view tab and I go to the window group and I click right here on freeze panes. All right, then I click right there, freeze panes, and check this out. It adds, if I click away, a little slightly darker line all the way down on row five. And then if I scroll down, look what happens. It keeps that top section up at the top of my page. So it's a nice little trick for Microsoft Excel in order to always retain a certain section of your page. Now if at any time I want to remove that pane or remove that freezing of the panes, I just go back to that freeze panes button and I go to unfreeze panes. Now keep in mind this also works on columns. Okay, So now uh, I, I unfroze my pane so you can see it's back to normal. It also works on columns to the left of the column. So we remember when I clicked on row 6 it froze everything above the row. Let's say I click on column B and then I go to freeze panes. Watch what happens here. I click freeze panes and you'll see a little line appears right there. Keep in mind this line doesn't get printed or anything like that. It's just there to tell you that everything to the left of the column is frozen now. So as I move to the right you could see that that first column stays the entire time. So that's how we freeze a column to the left. Now I'm going to unfreeze this one. Now we're going to freeze a specific cell. So for instance, let's say I wanted everything to uh, the top left of this uh, now function that we just entered to be frozen. I could even click right here. Now keep in mind, everything freezes above the row. Okay, so from row four up and then everything freezes to the left of the column. So I should assume if I go to freeze panes and I freeze the panes from right here and we see exactly that. It just freezes everything above and to the left. So as I scroll down notice I still have that top section and as I scroll to the right notice I still have the left section. Okay, So you'll have to figure out on your spreadsheets what looks best for uh, your specific scenario, but that's how you freeze panes and unfreeze panes in Microsoft Excel. So give it a shot. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you out, and if it has, uh, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.